everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be watching something that sounds right up my street. <laughs> this is called Look Inside World's Most Expensive and Biggest House, Antilia. Oh, I don't know about you, but I love like looking like I like being nosy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love anything to do with like house renovations and um, like moving, if people make moving videos on YouTube, I love watching them. Um, <laughs> it sounds a bit weird, but I, I don't know, I just have a fascination with uh, like houses and what different houses look like, so this is right up my street. I'm very excited to see what the world's most expensive and biggest house looks like in Antilia. <laughs> um, in the description it says, living in the most expensive area is never ending in a never-ending mansion with all the amenities you could dream of surrounded by staff running to cater to every of your each of your whims wake up the bubble of your impeccable imagination just burst <laughs> welcome back to reality that's not your home but such a place actually exists don't believe us allow us to guide you towards a peek into antilia the mesmerizing abode of the richest man in india I am very excited to watch this video. Like I said, I love looking around people's houses. Like if any of my friends move into a different house, I'm all about being nosy and, you know, going over and seeing what it looks like. I don't know, I'm just very interested in, in interior design and buildings in general. Might be a bit weird, but who cares? <laughs> so let's watch this video together and let's react to it. <clears throat> Spilling the secrets of Mukesh Ambani's abode Antilia. Living in the most expensive of areas in a never-ending mansion replete with all the amenities you can dream of. Oh. Surrounded by staff running to cater to each of our whim. Wake up. The bubble of your impeccable imagination just burst. Welcome back to the reality. <laughs> that is not your home, but such a place actually exists. Don't believe us? Allow us to guide you towards a peek into Antilia. The mesmerizing abode of the richest man of India. That's insane. Number 10. The only home. Mukesh Ambani's family initially shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brother's family and only moved out after the construction of Antilia was complete. Hmm. But that's not the catch here. You wouldn't expect the richest man of the nation to own just a single house. That's not how the rich function, right? Mm. <laughs> but Mukesh Ambani stands apart from the crowd of the rich because he owns just one house and with all that he has, he doesn't even need another one. Makes sense. <laughs> Number nine, distinct designing. The woman of the house, Nita Ambani, had planned a 27-story luxury haven with each of the floors designed distinctly. Australian company Leighton Holdings made that dream come true. <laughs> Not surprising, after all, if the dreams of the richest don't come true, who's else will? <laughs> so all the floors have a unique design, keeping sun and lotus motifs the highlight of the mansion and this variety was brought about using materials like mother of pearl, crystal, marble, wood, and other what? expensive materials. That house is surely a piece of art. Sounds it. <laughs> Number 8. Extra Heights. This mansion is giving us residential goals already, but wait till you know about the heights. Each floor of the mansion is equal to the height of a two-story building. Did you get the hint? What? The mansion could actually hold close to 60 floors with its current height. Can we say that the Ambani's have some high standards? Like, really high. Number seven, comfort traveling. The dream home oozes luxury in every respect, and traveling across the city, or for that matter, the world comes easy to the dwellers. The mansion has dedicated six floors to car parking, six. which can accommodate 168 cars at a time, and a whole floor is turned into a car servicing station. What? He has all the space for this lavish hobby in his 400,000 square foot palace. What's more, the house has three helipads in case you want to escape Mumbai's traffic and consider air travel more comfy. That's Number insane. Six, affluent neighborhood. Before the construction of this magnificent home began, rumors of it to be built in Mumbai slums were doing the rounds. That would have depicted the striking contrast in the two extreme Indian scenarios. But well, these rumors came to an end once the construction began at Altamount Road of Mumbai. The place where the richest of the richest have their dwellings. Wow. Should we say location matters? Number 5. Luxury Amenities This extravagant dwelling of the Ambani family can easily put leading luxury hotels to shame. <laughs> what? Don't be shocked. 
It is perfectly normal for a rich Indian to have multiple swimming pools, a gym, and jacuzzi in his home. But when you talk about the richest health spas, salon, separate yoga, and dance studios, in addition to a 50-seat home theater, make it to the list without a question. <laughs> Not very shocking, is it? That's crazy! Number four, the extra step. The Ambani's took their luxury requirements a notch higher when they planned for a ballroom in the mansion. Which man cannot survive without a ballroom in his dwelling that has its roof covered with 80% crystal chandeliers? Then there is a snow room, which is a must to beat the Mumbai heat. So the owners and guests can step into this room that will sprinkle man-made snowflakes and give you the feeling of being cool and filthy rich. What? Number three, unbeatable hospitality. You can't expect the most marvelous of the households to lack in hospitality, do you? The guests are well looked after, and that kind of goes without saying, so why did we even point it out? The mansion houses an entourage room that caters to the relaxation of the bodyguards and assistants of the big daddies that come to visit the Ambani's. Number 2. Energy Efficiency The Ambani house might be a skyscraper, but it still hosts a garden. And it's not just any ordinary garden, mind you. The hanging garden at the floor, where huge W-shaped beams support the upper floors, has the main purpose of energy conservation. The plants absorb sunlight, and in turn keep the interiors cool. Well, it totally makes sense, keeping in mind the fact that after the family moved into their new home, the first electricity bill that they paid was more than 70 locks. <sighs> Number 1. Best of both worlds. This elite residence was designed by an Australian company, and thus has the amenities and an international style. But it also kept the feelings of the family in mind, and has not lost its Indian appeal. As per Nita Ambani, Antilia is just the right blend of a modern home with Indian aesthetics, and going as per the design, she's not wrong. So could we just say that the extravagant mansion provides the best of both worlds to the family of five? Sure. Which feature of the multi-story house wowed you the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe wow. to our channel if you liked this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. Oh my you can goodness. also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. That was crazy. I didn't expect to, it to be like that. Like the shape, the design of it, whether it had that. Um, I'm not sure what the floor was. Let me just go back to that last picture. Um, there's like a little bit in the middle where it kind of sticks out, um, which is just crazy because it's kind of like all one, kind of one box shape. And then you have that little bit that sticks out, which really like stuck out to me as well. I wonder what's in there. Um, but firstly, is it necessary to have a snow room in your house? I understand obviously it's very hot in Mumbai, um, so maybe it is a necessity, I don't know, but that that was quite shocking to me. I think that was the most the most shocking one for me to like see. Like I understand having a gym and I've known other like rich people to have um cinemas in their homes and stuff, but but, <laughs> but the snow room that that is a new feature. I've not I haven't seen that in anyone else's in anyone else's house that was pretty cool um <laughs> i would love to see this in person i think it must be such a spectacle to see like close up but also from like a distance it must be very um what's the word you must be able to spot it from far away if it's you know that tall but that's crazy there's so much so much there and obviously they have the staff who catered to them they have a health center which is crazy I mean very very useful to have a health center in in your um, home with a swimming pool and a gym and yoga rooms which is kind of nice I would love to have a yoga room <laughs> there was a dance room as well wasn't there oh I miss dancing so much <laughs> I used to dance when I was when I was younger but not not so much anymore um but yeah I would love to have a dance studio just to make up dances in my spare time and keep fit <laughs> but yeah crazy they have guest apartments and the the garden bit looked super cute like i could take a lot of nice pictures i do a lot of photography in my spare time as well so i get i best i bet i could get a lot of nice pictures from from that uh, garden area oh, it just looks beautiful i just can't believe that that is a real building <laughs> you know it's just crazy 
<laughs> let me know which if which room is your favorite by by looking at this video in the comments below let me know what you thought of this reaction again in the comments below and if you do have any um any other videos you want me to react to please leave them in the comments with a link as well if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up i really enjoyed watching that it's put a massive smile on my face <laughs> and subscribe to this channel if you are new share this video get your friends and family to subscribe stay home stay safe and i will see you soon for another video bye everyone